Okay, so welcome to Red Team and Blue Team. So what we're going to start today with is your basic threat hunting. So this is from the perspective of a blue teamer. Generally, your blue teamers are defensive minded people and their goal is oftentimes to uh, find malware in a network. So I wanted to cover this set of videos from that standpoint. OK, now um, I've also given you guys access to um, all of these videos of the previous time of when I recorded this material. So that's these right here. So it's going to be threat hunting, setting up the VM, analyzing PCAPs with PRADS, using Chaos Reader, using T Shark, and using Suricata. What I'm going to do, guys, is each of those videos is going to go a little bit longer um, and a little bit more into detail than uh, what I'm going to do today. So what I'm doing is going to be kind of quick, but you already have the videos so you can walk through them and take your time with them. You know, so let's kind of start from the perspective of a security person who's been tasked with going to another network and trying to figure out what's going on out there. So that's what I'm going to do right here. So I've gone to this other network, right? And we've got a paste bin where all the commands that we're going to be using come from. So can someone just give me a quick message? Just give me a real quick message. That way I can respond and paste in the paste bin. There you go. So here's the paste bin that we're following. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to set up your virtual machine. So you'll see in your first video, I spend a ton of time walking through how to set up your VM. So I'm going to do this really quickly. So here you can see me doing this as root on an Ubuntu box. Right, so you can see I'm on Ubuntu 16.04. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do all of this stuff, right? So I'm gonna update the machine and I've got all these libraries that need to be installed. One of the problems with a lot of this, uh, one of the problems with a lot of this stuff is so few people really go through the process of building all of these tools. They either use Kali Linux or Remnux or something like that. So they're oftentimes not used to building all these machines. So when they try to build this stuff, they really have a lot of trouble. So that's the reason why I think it's really important to build your own machine, build all the tools that you're gonna need. So for example, Perl compatible regular expressions, right configure and make that's what you use for compiling right uh, pcap right lib pcap so that you can analyze packet captures tcp flow so that we can replay uh, data that's in uh, on the wire so let's say for example you download a packet capture file and you need to replay it for analysis right so you're going to need all of this stuff right Okay, the second thing that you're going to have to do is you're actually going to have to build Suricata. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all my Suricata stuff, right? So now I don't have any Suricata stuff and you're going to see me yank down Suricata, right? Suricata is an intrusion detection system and you're going to see me extract it. You're going to see me build it. That's what the compiling is for. So configure, this prepares it to be installed on your Linux machine. You want to compile it, install it into the correct directories. Then you wanna pull down the rules files and move them into the correct directory. Let me show you what I mean. So let me do this part. So I'm gonna go through setting up all of the rules. So right now I'm in the slash configure. So dot slash configure, what he's doing is checking to make sure that you have all the appropriate libraries. Now, if you remember, 
all those libraries that we did with that app get, that's what this step is now trying to utilize because you had to, you had to have all the right things so that you can go through building all of this. If you wanna be able to configure alerts and alerts that work at all these different layers, right? So you want stuff that works at all these different layers of protocols, you've gotta build the libraries to support all of those different protocols. And that's a really frustrating thing to do. Like this is not uh, an easy thing. This stuff throws errors like crazy. So that's the reason why I make you do all of this install stuff. If you do all this install stuff, this build process is really, really easy.